So my name is Helen Jack Hewitt. Um, I'm a McTimony animal chiropractor um, and I've been coming to Horse World for, golly, it's got to be uh, since 2003. Um, and I've been helping uh, on the rehab side of um, the welfare team. Um, okay, so the McTimony form of chiropractic is a very gentle, whole body form of chiropractic that was developed by John McTimony in the 1950s. Uh, it's very well received by animals because it's so gentle and, and non-invasive. Um, it aims to restore balance and symmetry to the body and help restore joint range of movement when there's been dysfunction in the way that the animal's been moving. So um, on an average um, visit, I will um, assess a number of horses and, and during each assessment, I will watch the horse move. Um, so I'm assessing how um, how symmetrical their movement is, whether there's any lameness, any reasons why I shouldn't see that horse and that the vet needs to see the horse first. Um, then I'll assess the horse um, stood still. Um, I'll look over their whole body, um, assessing their posture, their muscle symmetry, um, looking for any signs of previous injury. With um, horse world horses, some of them come in with very little history. So um, actually some of the scars on their body and, and their muscles can paint a more broader picture of, of what's happened in their, their previous life. So that's quite interesting. Uh, then I will treat any areas that may require treatment. So during the chiropractic part of the treatment, um, I'm aiming to help improve joint range of movement um, where the animal may have been moving um, asymmetrically or they may have had lameness in the past. Um, I'll then move on and assess their muscles and do any um, massage or other soft tissue techniques uh, to help release and relieve sore muscles um, and that can also help with joint function just to allow the body to move more symmetrically again. So it's really important that uh, you get a professional to check your horse's back. Um, it's horses by, by their nature are flight animals and they are hardwired to cover up pain so uh, to, to the you know, naked eye may not actually look like they're, they're suffering at all, um, but um, a professional can check um, and find specific points of pain that might be causing a problem. Um, horse world horses in particular, um, it's very important that we assess them because more often than not, they've got quite um, a history of um, neglect or abuse or injury uh, in the past that may have caused them quite a lot of physical pain. Um, and because of the trauma they've been through, they're quite often very shut down and uh, really not able to ex express pain normally at all. Um, so it really does take the hands of a professional to come along and actually find what's going on and treat it accordingly. So one of the things I get asked to do is to assess uh, horses here as to whether they're suitable um, to take part in the discovery programme that's run here. And what's been really interesting is that um, some of the horses that have um, come to Horse World aren't suitable to be rehomed um, because they may have psychological or physical problems that just mean they're not safe enough to be rehomed to the public. Um, now, in, in the past, these would basically then become sort of pasture ornaments that um, just sat in the field not really doing anything all day. Um, what has been amazing is that these horses have just fitted into the discovery programme so well. Um, it's been fantastic to see that not only is it helping the people on the discovery programme, it's actually helping these horses as well live a much more settled existence. Um, you know, they're, they're much more relaxed and happy with life um, and you see them really flourish in that environment. So it's been really special to see.